So today is MOT day. Crescent Honda sit between Portsmouth and Southampton, just off the A27 I think it is. And yeah, they, they seem really nice. I mean, I've only had one bad encounter with them ever. And I've been there quite a lot of times, mainly to buy drift stuff. Uh, I bought my boots there, my little RST boots that are still going, I'm still wearing at the moment. They are like, what, three years old now? Yeah, they're three years old now and they're so comfortable and they're waterproof and they're just like the perfect boot apart from not for track riding and they don't they don't look that pretty but especially now now I've worn them for three years they look terrible <laughs> I need to re reboot polish them that might make them look better or I could just buy some new ones or I could just reboot polish them I don't know what I'm doing yeah so last year she just flew through the MOT I'm hoping this year she does as well I can't really see anything that she would fail on. I mean, what do they check? Like the the gases that come out of the exhaust or something and your lights. What else do they check? Like that you've got a reflector on it? I, don't know. I think the MOTs are just, they just seem completely pointless to me. But it's a legal requirement, isn't it? You have to follow the rules. You can't just go around without an MOT. It's legal. So this one guy that works there that I had a bad experience with once, he doesn't seem to work there anymore because I haven't seen him there in since the time I had the bad experience with him actually and it, it wasn't that bad I mean he just probably thought that I was some stupid girl that would do whatever he said to my bike so I went there with my van van once I bought it like a month or two months before this so I didn't really know that much about bikes at that point but I wasn't like completely dumb and I, I could see that my chain needed um, tightening well I needed to adjust my back wheel to make my chain tighter but I didn't know how to do it and I wasn't confident enough at that point to do it so I, d I decided I'd take it to the nearest shop that did Suzuki's and at the time that was Suzuki Crescent they were very helpful but when the guy handed me the keys back he said you you are aware that you do need a new chain and sprocket set soon and I was like really the bike's only done 2,000 miles how can it need a new chain and sprocket set soon he was like well they, they put um they put rubbish chains on the new bikes uh yeah, so you need a new chain and sprocket set soon. And I just left and I was like, I do not need a new chain and sprocket set soon. Anytime soon. Anytime in the next year, probably, because I don't use it that much. Yeah, he was a knobhead. I think he, he, I think he just thought that I was a stupid female that didn't know anything about bikes and would just say, oh yeah, can you do it now then? But I knew enough at that point that I knew that I didn't need another chain and sprocket set and he was just talking bollocks. Yeah, I don't think it's something that guys go through. Uh, unscrupulous mechanics talking bullshit to try and get some more money i think that's mainly they mainly do it to girls because they think the girls don't know as much as men and then it probably happens quite a lot like it probably they probably get away with it quite a lot like when i when i used to not know anything about cars or bikes or mechanical stuff to do with engines i had a fiat 500 yeah i know it's embarrassing one of the worst cars ever well, it wasn't the worst car ever it was just boring boring and slow <laughs> like an old person car yeah, and this, this mechanic told me when I went for my MOT that I needed new brake discs. I needed new brake discs. Bear in mind, this car had only gone 5,000 miles at that point. And I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, just do that now. Yeah, it's fine. Like 200 quid later, I started to think, oh, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have asked someone else that knew something about cars if, if it would, would have needed new brake discs by then, because brake discs and more expensive than brake pads and I didn't realise this at the time like when I said yes I thought I thought he was on about the brake pads because I didn't really know the terminology very well uh, I was just an idiot I just said yes probably didn't need doing and I lost some money so yeah I'm, I'm a bit more careful now and luckily now I have an amazing boyfriend and some amazing friends that know a lot about mechanical stuffy and things that I can ask and I can say look uh, this garage has said that I need this this and this doing do you think that sounds reasonable? And they might be like, no, they're talking bollocks. And then I'll be like, yeah, thank you guys. And I am learning some more stuff myself as well. Learning more stuff about stuff and things. I think the most expensive car that I've had to take to an MOT was that Fiat 500. A close second was my little micro that I had because every time it needed an MOT, it needed some welding done because it was, it was a tank. The engine was a tank, but, but the actual bodywork of the car was rubbish. So although the car was really good, like the engine, yeah, the bodywork just sucked, sucked ass. And then the other car that I had was a, a Ford Focus and I spent probably about 500 pounds trying to work out what this problem was with this Ford Focus, not Focus, it's a Fiesta, that was, it was a small one. And I, I, spent, I spent loads of money trying to work out what this problem was with this car, it was crap. 
someone sold it to me and it was crap and i never found out what the problem was with it it just used to cut out all the time and then it used to like sputter when it wanted to go after like you stopped at some traffic lights and sometimes it would um, cut out and then just not start for like hours and i would just be sat there calling the aa and when the aa came they'd be like yeah it starts fine what are you talking about <laughs> Oh, I hated that car. I hated it. Yeah, I never found out what that problem was with that car. And the annoying thing is, I'd sold my first motorbike to get that car to go to uni because I couldn't take any of my stuff to uni on it. And then it was a crap car, and I paid a thousand pounds for it. I sold it for two hundred a few months later because I just I couldn't be done with it anymore. I couldn't. I'd spent loads of money on it. It was wasting all my money at uni. I didn't have any money anyway. I had to work to support myself. But we live and learn, don't we? And I'm never buying a Ford again. But I would, I would maybe buy a, a Nissan again because I love my Micra. Okay, enough ranting. Let's go, for, go for the MOT now. Down here is where Crescent Honda are. They put my new tire on the other week as well. My tire that still feels amazing. If I could afford it, I'd get new tires all the time, like every three months. New tires. Oh, feels so good. And she passes. Flying colours. No advisories. Woohoo! And they didn't put any of that horrible jizzy white stuff on the chain either. Great. I hate it when they do that. Oh, today is such a beautiful day. I love my bike. Why have I got my helmet open, drying out my contact lenses? Oh. And tomorrow I'm riding a Grom. Yes! 